Hello viewers. In this lecture, I'm going to explain how to approximate a fractional integral and how to use that approximation to drive a formula called fractional forward Euler's formula or fractional forward Euler's method. So in fractional calculus, we have an integral known as fractional Riemann level integral of order alpha it is defined by this equation the fractional integral operator such as the one shown here is useful for converting the fractional differential equation into integral differential equation so let's suppose we have a function f of t that belongs to a class of functions which are continuous on an interval given as an interval from 0 to capital T. Delta T stands for the step size which is computed at, as the length of the interval which is capital T divided by number of iterations where n belongs to the set of natural numbers and T sub k is equal to k times this step size. This will determine the next time state while k is from 0 to n minus 1 it means there are total n values of k so suppose that f of t be approximated by a certain function denoted by f tilde of t naturally we come up with a polynomial interpolation for the function on the given interval so, for t is equal to t sub n in RL integral, we have this equation. And this equation, you can see the integral can be broken into several integrals. So, I can write the first integral as t naught starting from t naught to t1. In this case, t naught will be equal to 0 plus the second integral from t1 to t2 and similarly you can write down the last integral as you can see on the screen and some of all of these integrals can be written by this last equation using this summation sign where k starts from 0 to n minus 1 if you apply these terms on the integral you will have all of these integrals given in this step now fractional rectangular formula can be derived in this way the function f of t is approximated by a constant and that constant is taken as f of t sub k so we obtain this kind of expression from the previous step where i have written here f of t sub k now integrating this term given in the bracket this whole term tn minus tau power alpha minus 1 use simple power rule of integration you will have this expression and using fundamental rule of calculus you can have this step now where I have simply applied the upper limit minus lower limit now for n is equal to 1 in the previous step you will obtain this kind of equation simplification of this equation will give you h power alpha divided by gamma of alpha plus 1 times f of t naught where t1 minus t naught is of course a step size and i have used this property of the gamma function if i put n is equal to 2 then this equation is obtained from one of the previous steps finally the simplification i mean when you put k is equal to 0 in the entire expression plus k is equal to 1 in the whole expression will give you this step and then little simplification will yield this step now on the screen and after more simplification you will have this kind of equation similarly you can also find out the value when n is equal to 3 and you will have this kind of last equation. If I continue the above process, then this kind of 
equation is obtained this is very simple i'm sure if you do it by hand then you will easily obtain these terms so generally we have this expression for the fractional rectangular rule this is what we call left fractional rectangular formula now fractional forward Euler's method which is used to solve an initial value problem of the type as you can see on the screen the derivative is defined under the caputo operator and you have differential equation on the right hand side where alpha is a fractional order lying between 0 and 1 and y of 0 is equal to y naught is an is a given initial condition so converting this initial value problem to volterra integral equation we will have this equation as you see on the screen so this is nothing but simply i have used the inverse differential operator on both sides after that if i replace the second term in this equation where i'm moving the cursor if i replace it by the fractional rectangular formula that we have just derived then you will have this last equation and this last equation is what we call the fractional forward Euler's method and let me tell you that in my very first video I have explained the MATLAB code for the fractional forward Euler's method to solve a differential equation defined in the Caputo sense. So I would invite you to watch my first video to design a MATLAB code for fractional forward Euler's method that would help you to solve a fractional ordinary differential equation, a single differential equation, a scalar type, as well as a system of ordinary differential equations defined under the Caputo sense. So here you have now seen how easy it is to drive the fractional forward Euler's method with the help of fractional rectangular formula which we have also approximated with the help of Riemann-Liouville fractional integral. Thank you for watching.